Peace family, it's about to rain. <laughs> I love when it rains because y'all know what it's about. To, what I'm about to do because it's about to rain, I'm going to plant some seeds. That's what you should do when it's about to rain is plant seeds. Isn't that what you guys do when it's about to rain? Y'all go outside and plant seeds, right? Yeah, that's normal. So, I just dropped, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, so I emptied out a pot, and look, there's ants in here, but I'm gonna water these seeds in with some orange oil water. Also, I disturbed the mess out of it. I lay, I, I poured it out in different areas of my garden, so they're not even all right here. So, I did get bit by an ant, I'm not gonna lie about that. Put some cocoa core on top, and just kind of mixed it in with the other soil. If you look closely, you can see there's like leaves that are breaking down, almost broken down. So this soil is good. It's definitely soil that has some compost in it, some things that have been broken down. It just had ants. The ants will go away. I'm not concerned about them. I've got this chamomile. I want to use this little square foot for chamomile. Chamomile group great last year right here in this spot and so it's about to rain i'm gonna just sprinkle them on top and i'm gonna let the rain just rain them in and i'm so excited to see how much chamomile we get also diva jones sent me some of these black uh nebula carrots i think they nebula yes black nebula carrots i've already planted some of them in a grow bag but i'm about to find somewhere else to plant some too <laughs> So, we'll see. If it doesn't rain too hard, I'll show you everything. But let's start with the uh, chamomile. So, I just don't know how much. Because they don't all always take. So, I just sprinkle. And in Mommy's Garden, chamomile is already reseeding for me. So, and I think I have another pack of this. I have some from Nimble Nightcap, and I think I also have some from a different company. So, that's it. I'm going to let the rain do the rest. Okay, I'm going to plant some carrots in here, y'all. So, I think I told y'all before I was going to let this one go to seed. What you can see is getting taller. I'm letting it go to seed, so it's going to make little yellow flowers, and then it's going to give me seed pods so that I can hopefully grow these broccoli again in the fall from seeds and i won't have to buy the plant starts this year for me is the year of seed saving okay and then this one and a bunch of other ones in the garden i'm still just clipping off of because they're making these cute little heads that i can just throw in like stir fries or um fry rice or something like that so i'm leaving this container here I said all that just to say I'm leaving this container here and I think I'm just gonna plant some carrot seeds right in here I think so and this will probably be my last chance I hope they do well because it's going to get hot pretty quickly and that's just how it is when you're growing in the south. But this is my side garden. It's my shade garden. So I'm hoping that they don't get too, too much sun. And then we got the thyme over here coming back strong, looking good. So I'm just going to plant my carrots in here. Give me a second. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see I made like some little grooves and their seeds here 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 i just kind of sprinkle them all down the little lines that i make and then i'm just going to cover those up i'm gonna let the rain go ahead and rain those in for me go ahead and water those in if you can see i've got seeds all in here and i'm gonna lightly cover the carrots they don't need to be covered too too much
Alright, happy growing carrots. Peace. I also came out here before the rain to open up my compost because we don't want to let our compost dry out. They don't like to break it down like that. So if it's going to rain, so this one is closed. I do turn this one most. I like this one because I feel like it's going to be the quickest because I remember to turn it the most. But I have to remember also to open it and let the rain rain into it sometimes. I also have this compost. It's covered with those pine needles. I'm going to let it get rained in. I will probably stir it and then close it back up. And I also have to remember to open that one. And then this one is open so I don't fill it up too too tall because I don't want it to attract rodents I forget to turn this one sometimes I also forget to turn this one but that's okay because if you want to do lazy composting you can and having this one reminds me to turn the other two so I'm actually about to do that right now before it rains and yeah that's it peace yeah it's raining so I wanted to show you guys, the garden is definitely in transition. I'm trying to lay wood chips on the side, has to cut the grass, so it's a lot of stuff everywhere. But if you look here and over here, we brought the fruit trees out. It's been partly cloudy all day. It's about three something and it's starting to rain. It's gonna be a good, nice rain. So it's a great day to bring them out because um they're gonna be so happy they're coming out on a day that's not too hot that's my key line um my other key line that was in the garage also the water is i mean the rain is watering in my seeds it's making my seedlings very happy oop i forgot one i was supposed to plant this tomato in there you see it sitting there but that's okay i'm gonna let them sit there through the rain and all of my newly planted plants should be very happy so i'm excited you guys get as much done before the rain as you can let the rain work with you water in your seeds or your seedlings or your fruit trees or just your garden the garden is always super happy after the rain all right i'll see you guys soon peace Peace family, so it's starting to rain and I have a shirt on my head because I've been moving wood chips. But I've been out all day, it's a Sunday, it's a beautiful day, and tomorrow is my son's birthday. So I'm trying to just get a lot of work done so I can focus on him and then my daughter's birthday is coming up right after that, three days to be exact. So anyway, I've still been moving wood chips. Whoo, y'all. This is a part of my before the rain video, but I'm just going to show you guys because this is what I've really been doing. Trying to get as much done as possible before the rain because I don't want the wood chip pile sitting there getting rained on. So, as you can see, this has changed. But if I didn't have, if I didn't have all those wood chips to get rid of, do y'all notice how it's sunny and raining? This is Houston, Texas, baby. Um, what I normally do is plant. I plant seeds or I move trees. So, all the trees recently moved outside. This Barbados cherry we got in the first um, Trees for Houston drop. Because it's multiple cars from multiple households. So, this one is the Barbados cherry. And it was kind of beat and, see, look, knocked over when we got him. So, I just planted him. And I'm gonna stake him up. But I think before the rain is a great time to put a tree in its new home, in its new pot. And then just make sure it is stable. As you can see, the wind is blowing it. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys this. I am gonna stake it up before I go inside. Let the rain work with you guys. Plant your seeds and plant your trees and stuff. Put your fertilizer out and let it rain on in there. And it's going to be so exciting. I'll show you also my little San Marzano. He won't be little for long, don't worry. I just planted him. 
and I just planted this little basil as well and we're gonna watch them grow together I'm also adding things to my bed before the rain so I just added that rabbit poop and I have a little mixture that I'm gonna pour on top that's just to feed the greens and kind of everything around it the greens have been in there since the fall so thank you guys for watching I am going to hurry up and get out of this rain well I'm gonna finish what I have to do hopefully you guys can see the rain but I thank you guys for watching I hope you're happy and healthy and doing well in your gardens and I'll see you on the next video peace